Hey everyone, and welcome back to the Happy Tar Channel. Today's date is 4 9 2020, and today we have for you guys, you guessed it, today's daily news refresh. Now, as always, I give away a skin every single video. So to enter, like today's video, subscribe with notifications on, and of course, comment down below with your Epic Games name and your display name. I wish you guys all the best of luck, and without further ado, let's just hop directly into our first Fortnite topics. Alright, so today's brand new Sky Challenges are now available, and located in the background video is now a free cheat sheet for week 8. I encourage you guys to simply pause today's video, check this out, and of course take a screenshot, or just simply keep it open on a second monitor or your cell phone, so you guys can actually complete these in the easiest and best ways possible. Alright, so that's week 8, it's also included inside of here the Deadpool Challenges, just so you guys know, on the bottom right hand of the screen. Now speaking of Sky, a few fans just noticed that located within Sky's room, we actually did the Chapter 1 Bunker, that's actually from the Unvaulting event. So again, more teases back to Chapter 1, and most notably, the Unvaulting event. I honestly don't know how this ties to the storyline, but considering that every agent has been studying this, it's actually pretty significant. They must know about the Chapter 1 map, and they must know they are in an alternate universe. So pretty crazy stuff right there. On to our next Fortnite topic, I forgot to cover this yesterday, but Spadicy1 has just tweeted this out. Unreleased Future Items Athena Lumpy Rug, New Type of Rocket Shaking Turtle, Tornado Grenade Wumpa, Itemized Upgrade Stations Cool Mammoth, Clone Machine Chunky Settle Item, Chug Stand now, a lot of these are actually quite significant, of course, a brand new type of rocket launcher. I do believe it could possibly be this in the background video that's located at Tiantina's, um, her agency office. This could very well be that new type of rocket, but of course, that's just pure speculation. And leave yours down below. As far as the tornado grenade goes, that could very well be just for Save the World, although it could be for Chapter 2, Season 3. Itemized upgrade stations, obviously that's an extremely useful item. It's probably like a small grenade type thing where you guys throw it down and it would actually make a portable upgrade station. In return, you guys can upgrade your weapons or set upgrade any weapon you guys actually choose to, which I'm actually all for. I think that's an extremely great idea. Moving on to the clone machine. Of course, this could be for bots or something else, or it could be simply to clone yourself multiple times. I don't really know how this is going to be working, it might also just simply be like some sort of vending machine where you guys can actually get deploy grenades and stuff like that. And last but not least, the chug stand. I'm assuming the chug jugs are going to be returning somewhat, and this is probably like a portable chug jug where you guys can throw down, or actually find across the Fortnite map and pay some money for it, or maybe even use the gold coins which everyone wants in the game, and stuff like that. So pretty awesome stuff right there, a portable chug stand, or even where it's like the old school days where you guys can have a chug jug. So pretty awesome stuff right there. On to our next Fortnite topic. No, there's no mythical shotgun within the files. Every single day I get asked this question if there's a mythical shotgun coming out. And I'm not quite sure where everyone got this from, but obviously some clickbait YouTuber must have made a video on this at some point. And now everyone thinks an actual mythic shotgun is now coming out, which is completely false. I asked Fire Monkey, I asked Lucas, I asked Hypex, and no, it is not within inside the files. So, question answered for all of you guys messaging me on Twitter constantly about this question. Also, for this month, Fortnite had a complete surge of Fortnite players, and actually the most concurrent viewers since August of 2019. So, pretty incredible stuff right there. Whether it be the quarantine or everyone just simply being home in general, Fortnite is now seeing a massive surge of players. Even more than Call of Duty Battle Royale, and very, very much more. On to our next Fortnite topic, coming directly from Glitch King. He was nice enough to allow me this gameplay for today's video, so check him out down below. But with this glitch, you guys can legit complete challenges in creative mode, allowing you guys to do it in one single game, never die, your friends can join in, and you guys can get unlimited XP. It's probably the best glitch right now, and I encourage you guys to check him out down below, as well as watch this clip all the way through. So, roll the clip.
All right, honestly, definitely gonna be doing this today. It's extremely, extremely great, and I suggest you guys do it before uh, it gets patched, which I'm assuming will be any minute now. So pretty awesome stuff right there. On to our next Fortnite topic, we have some lore from Fortnite's Reddit, and it says this. The leaked Midas agent trailer might have some clues about what's happening on the island. When Midas enters the room, you can see the Oro pickaxe. More evidence that he is or was Oro. Also a clock with no hands, possibly suggesting that he exists outside of time. He walks slowly into the room with a grim, determined look on his face, carrying the helmet of Black Knight. He lifts the helmet up and considers it for a moment, looking at it in a way you would to remember your friend you've lost. He touches it very gently and turns it to gold. He carefully hangs it on the wall, showing another clock with no hands. As he turns away, it reveals a wall with golden helmets. The two main reasons someone would have a wall like this would be display trophies or as a memorial for things they've lost. Midas doesn't look like a victor hanging another trophy. The wall raises more questions than it answers. If these are lost agents, then Chaos Agent possibly once worked for Midas and turned against him. It's possible Midas had agents working on the Athena Island all along, and the expedition slash iceberg may have been sent by him. He may exist outside of normal space and time. Now I'm gonna pause right here before I read the last one. This actually makes a lot of sense because if this theory is even remotely correct, this would actually make sense that the Chapter 2 agents know about the Chapter 1 bunker and how they actually got here and how the other agents actually landed on this Fortnite map. It all kind of makes sense if you guys really think about it. It gives us some insight as far as how they know about the Chapter 1 map even though it's destroyed and it's from a different universe. Like, what if Midas was on the Chapter 1 map all along but instead of actually him being there, he had agents he hired to be there to spy on the map. Like, it's just absolutely crazy and the storyline is getting pretty dang awesome. And last but not least, it says this. Finally, as Midas turns away, his grins turns into a very slight smile. Is it a smile or hope or revenge? It looks like Ghost is losing the fight for the island, but Midas may have one last card to play. Alright, so I had to go back and edit this video and actually scrap out about 4 minutes of extra content because a major league has just come out and it's actually quite significant and we definitely need to cover it because time is now ticking. It's currently 4.07pm as I'm making today's video and it looks like the item shop got leaked for tonight and lo and behold, it looks like it's more Deadpool cosmetics. So a completely massive leak coming directly from uh, Fortnite themselves. So everyone just got this message. Deadpool Fashion Week, like my likeness, Cuddle Pool, and Raven Pool outfits now available in the Deadpool item shop. So this confirms that we will be getting some more Deadpool themed cosmetics, and most notably a Cuddle Pool and Raven Pool outfit, which I'm assuming is going to be just like the Cuddle Bear and like stuff like that. So absolutely just crazy. Now as always, I will give away these skins in today's video, so if you guys want a chance to win these, like today's video and comment down below with your Epic Games name. But enough of me talking, that is all for today's video. Unfortunately, that's all we have for you guys as far as news. That pretty much just made this video. I'm super hyped for you guys to see this because tonight's item shop will be quite significant. So I'll see you guys tonight. Use code ALTMARS. And remember, if you want a chance to win these new outfits, like today's video and comment down below with your Epic Games name. Stay happy, stay safe, and stay clean. Just press the button. Eh?